Hey, what's up fam jam? It's TCG Dad, back with the final installment of our EV Evolutions tins openings. We've got the beautiful Vaporeon V tin from 2021. That's got four packs of Sword and Shield in it. And I wanna see if we can make a profit on the $27 we invested in this tin. If you haven't seen our previous videos, we've opened five of these tins. I'll link them down in the description. And spoiler alert, we've only been able to see profit on one of the tins so far. So it's still likely best to keep your sealed product sealed. However, for science, we're gonna get into these tins and these packs to see what we can find and how the kind of math works out. If you haven't already subscribed to our channel, what are you waiting for? There's a 250 subscriber prize giveaway and there's only about 13 spots left. And if you have already subscribed, thanks so much for being awesome. I can't wait for the prize giveaway. Make sure you smash the like button to help this channel spread and leave us a comment down below. We'd love to hear from you. So hopefully you're taking care of yourselves and taking care of those around you. And without further ado, let's get into this tin. All right, fam jam, here we go. We've got the beautiful Vaporeon V tin. Um, like I said, it came out in 2021. It's got uh, one of the three foil promo cards and four TCG booster packs and a code card. This having come out in 2021, I'm hopeful it's got a uh, sword and shield base set in it. Um, and I'm hoping that it's got at least one Evolving Skies pack in it as well, like some of the other. Well, I think most of the other ones have, um, which is always, it's always nice to have an Evolving Skies pack in your product. There's the beautiful Vaporeon V promo card. I'll leave it in the packaging just because I don't want to mess with it too much. Beautiful. And then code card, which we'll save for a future giveaway. And then here we go. Let's see what kind of pack selection we're working with. Okay, so taking things off with a beautiful Umbreon Evolving Skies pack, Umbreon Heart. Fantastic. We've got Chilling Rain next, which makes sense. Chilling Rain's almost in everything. We've got a Battle Styles, which is awesome. This makes me think this is indeed um, one of the older tins. And here we go, Sword and Shield base set, which I love cracking. Um, so I, I'm not going to tally the packs up. It's, at this point, it's pretty obvious that you guys definitely want to keep your sealed product sealed um, and uh, you know only open packs on special occasions or when you can get them for a really low price or never and just buy singles, I think might be the answer. So um, we'll kick things off with Sword and Shield Base Set. Still really excited to open this uh, set. It's something that TCG Sun and I had missed. Um, which is I think is why it's so fun for us to go back um, and it is an older set at this point you know we're past Scarlet and Violet base um, so that pack is sort of saveable not really we've got a black border code card which I think is still a good sign and let's see what we're working with we've got a psychic energy uh, Ferrothorn sorry guys I won't know all of these Pokemon's off the top of my head Ferrothorn Pokemon Center Lady Doug Trio, Mincino, Delarian Ponita, beautiful art. Look at that. That is a pretty card. Selling it. We've got Ball Toy. We've got a Q Fant. Okay, our reverse holo is a metal saucer. Very, very cool. And our rare is something good. It's a Regirock V. Wow, that's cool. The first V cards, I think, were in Sword and Shield Base. So first pack, first hit. Okay, then we've got Battle Styles, everyone's favorite. Um, not sure what we're looking for from Battle Styles. I feel like we've got quite a bit of the set already. Um, so let's just dive right in. There's a code card. Pack trick. Another psychic energy. We've got a Grumpig. Escape rope. Pharaoh. So landed again. Gligar. Ball toy. Electabuzz. Honage. Honage. Reverse hollow is a bell sprout. And our rare is a regular. Oh, it's a hollow. Colossal. See if I can get the foil and pick up a bit more. Okay, not too bad. At least we've got a hollow foil. Third pack, we've got Chilling Rain. Oops. 
I'm guessing so far it would have made more sense to keep these sealed. Um, v cards, uh, you know, just simple V cards like this Reggie Rock uh, are not very expensive. I imagine it's less than a dollar. Whereas the pack, uh, you know, it's a few dollars worth. So unless you guys are gifted packs, unless you absolutely have to, or it's your birthday or it's Christmas, still I think the best uh, plan is to keep these sealed in terms of ret uh, value retention. Kicking things off with another Psychic Energy, and then a Peonia, Peonia, Fire Resistant Gloves, Crabomitable, Lediba, Squabbit, Crabla, 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 why can't I say, Crabrawler, Crabrawler, Grookey, Score Bunny, Reverse Hollow is a Brawly, in the old Reverse Hollow pattern, and a Rare, is something really good. Oh my gosh. Ice Rider Calyrex VMAX Rainbow. Holy cow. That is a gorgeous card. Fantastic. Wow. Look at that. Okay. Third pack. Big hit. Uh, I'm not sure how expensive these rainbow cards are, but um, gorgeous in real life. And last but not least, we've got our Evolving Skies, which is where I hope the money card comes out of. We're still chasing the Moonbryon. I'm sure that's true for many people. Um, so I would not be disappointed in seeing a Moonbryon. Or at this point, I was going through our Evolving Skies binder. I think any of the EV Evolutions VMAX cards or alt arts are gorgeous and I'd be happy to get. All right. And we've got another... <laughs> I was hoping for another Psychic Energy, but we've got a Metal Energy. Rubber Gloves. Tentacruel, Hippo, Hippodon, Hippodon, Eevee, Litleo, Timpole, Timepole, Hippopotus, Hippopotus, Scraggy, Reverse Hollow is a Nicket, and our rare is, oh, it's a Zapdos, it's a Galarian Zapdos. Foil, but not a money card, unfortunately, I don't think. Okay, I'll display our total likely right there on the screen. I'm guessing we didn't make our $27 back, let alone a profit. That being said, these tins are always fun to open. I think they're only going to get more fun um, with time. And it's still, it's still a lot of fun to pull some of these, you know, Sword and Shield V cards, the Rainbow cards, which they've... Um, you know, stop doing for Scarlet and Violet. So that's definitely a bit of nostalgia. And these promo cards are fantastic. So as they get older, they'll likely go up in value too. So a $27 investment today um, definitely could mean profit in the future. But for now, uh, keep these sealed in your closet, folks. And thanks so much for tuning in. You guys are the best. Um, we'll have another video out soon. Probably the uh, Paldea Friends tins. And then we've got the uh, Cyclazar EX box as well and some uh, Magic the Gathering content coming up. Uh, we're going to do March of the Machines, the Aftermath, and some March of the Machines pack openings. So thanks so much for being awesome, guys. Thanks for checking our content out. This is TCG Dad signing off. Peace.